So, some time has passed, and finally we can talk about the Windows RCE, which me and a couple of other researchers have found. Now, if you're wondering, what is this vulnerability I'm talking about? You probably have missed it, but I'll actually show it to you. The vulnerability starts rather simple. You run curl, for example, from PowerShell, and you connect to the attacker control website. In this case, it will be localhost 5000, just a local uh, website I've made. And if I click enter, you see nothing else but a calculator pop open, meaning that we just basically had a remote code execution. Now, me and a couple of researchers have found this issue and thankfully it has been resolved. And if you have updated your Windows 11 PC, this is no longer a thing. But I wanted to tell you, I wanted to, you know, talk you through a bit more about what has actually happened and show you the real proof of concept that you can also replicate yourself and test this vulnerability out for yourself. Of course, be ethical and responsible. Uh, yeah, let's now go with the video. But before we even get started with the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It will mean a world to me. And also make sure to check out my ultimate bug bounty course. If you want to find vulnerabilities like these, it's actually in a discount for like next three days. So hurry up. Also, check out my ultimate API Android app hacking course, which is not for apps. Don't worry. It is for web still, but it's you sniffing APIs from the Android apps. It's also on a 90% discount, so check it out, as well as my game hacking course, which is no longer on a discount. I think it is, actually. This is a bug. Yep, it's still on a discount for the next three days, so check them all out. This also includes some example cheats. Links are in the description. Follow my Instagram. Now let's go with the video. So, to all of my core fans who already know, I had to actually escape my house for a moment because I'm out of electricity for like two days, as you know, I'm from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and things tend to get really smelly, I'd say, in this country when it's a winter, you get cut out of fucking electricity all the time. But yeah, that's besides the point now. So, uh, I'm going to show you now the proof of concept which was used in the report, or actually that you can also replicate, and also I'll leave it in the description. So, this is just the back end in terms of python in terms of uh you know the raw back end and all i'm doing is just rendering out a template which is example exploit.html nothing too fancy however this is the actual exploit and it is basically for this cve you can also find everything in the description and just to prove it this is actual report for the cve 2025 40 powershell rc you can scroll down and you can see that uh, my name is in the acknowledgement so yeah i did find this issue Anywho, right now, what you're looking at is the proof of concept, literally just that. And as you can see, it calls the new ActiveX object for the VS script dot shell and, you know, runs a calc exe. It is a very simple vulnerability, which we have found, but the core vulnerability isn't even curl. It's actually what's known as the invoke web request. You can see it a bit more here that actually why this vulnerability works is because the invoke web request is essentially what's responsible for this. And yeah, I can definitely show it to you right now. So if I run invoke web request, URI, and then I type HTTP, you know, localhost, the port 5000, click enter, you would see the exact same thing happen. So curl, what you're seeing in the PowerShell, this curl isn't actually the same curl the Daniel Stanberg is behind. So this curl isn't actually the one. And as you can see, CMD let invoke web request at command pipeline position one. So basically it already tells you that this is not actual curl. I don't know why they bundle this, but again, it's just the Windows and Microsoft doing their things. I'm not really going to get into it. But I wanted to also tell you how I found out about this. Uh, I was actually doing an interview with uh, Daniel and I think him and I are gonna do it again because guess what happened? While I was doing the interview with him, electricity cut out. And that was actually way before all of this even happened. So yeah, Bosnia, don't come to Bosnia if you expect consistent electricity. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I saw this report. It was to, written to actual curl by another researcher who I'm currently in contact with, and him and I actually managed to put this all put this all together, kind of. Uh, that there is a bug on Windows. He reported that if you connect to, for example, your own websites, and there is a you know code alert, one would pop up. Now, what you might be thinking, what, what what do you mean? Well, I might actually show it to you. So if I just basically update this function to call alert one, and if I come back here, and if I, uh, sorry, let me like really get out of this. So if I literally connect back to it, you should see that th this kind of happens and it was fishy to me and him. Then I kind of, you know, added some of my stuff to it as well. You can check it in the top right corner if you want to learn more about it. But yeah, I alternately, we actually, ha we actually found this issue. 
What's interesting is that the fix actually doesn't even address too much. The fix is literally after the updates, it tells you to use basic parsing to avoid script code execution. And once you run a curl, it will tell you, hey, you're about to execute something. Do you want to continue? And you have to literally click enter to continue. That's the whole problem. I don't think this fix is sufficient, but again, if it does the job, it does the job. Again, they actually have to fix everything, which also includes them having to return and pull the curl from PowerShell, which creates another type of problems because they, they shouldn't have done that in the first place. But again, it's just Windows doing its Windows things. Anyways, I'm not actually going to make it too long of a video because, again, electricity is at, uh, <laughs> it is very unstable. So yeah, I just wanted to talk a bit more about it, show you the proof of concept, and yes, in the description you can find this, so you can also test it out yourself. I highly recommend you to play with it, but don't actually use it against real people. Again, be ethical and responsible. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.